Hey, so I'm going to show you how to make a game with Unity. So the first thing you would do is obviously download Unity. It's free, so go to unity3d.com, download it. I Once I downloaded it, I went to, to create a new project. And I just left everything blank. I didn't check anything off. I have it in 3D for the for the defaults. So yeah, 3D. And then I clicked create project. And that's where I am right now. So I haven't done anything yet. All there is is there is a main camera in my scene. Nothing else. So we've got a bunch of windows here. So here's the hierarchy window project window, inspector window, scene window, game window. If you don't have any of those, you can go up at the top and click window and choose the one that you don't have. So first thing we're going to do is save our scene. So in the project window, I'm going to right click create folder and name it scenes. That's where we're going to we're going to put our, our scene, so we're going to go File, Save, Scene, and choose the Scenes folder, and call this Scene 01. Click Save, so now our scene is right here. So, in the Hierarchy window, so the Hierarchy is everything that's inside of our scene. And so right now there's just a camera in here. And this window down here, the game window, is what the camera can see. So if you go window, game, there's your game window. Um, so I'm going to right click inside the hierarchy window and create empty. So let's zoom in, so create empty. And I'm going to name that player. So we've got our player, there's nothing on him, he's just right here. You can drag him around. When this arrow thing in the top left corner is selected, that lets you drag him around. If the hand is selected, you can move around in this view. And uh, if you select the player in here, on the side here, the camera or whatever, but you don't have him in view, you can have your mouse over the scene and press F and it will center on him and find him. The right mouse button lets you look around. You can press F, go back to where he is. You can also, in the top right corner of this thing, there's this thing. And if you press on, on it, it'll let you go to a side view or a front view or a top view. And if you press on the square in the the cube in the center of it, it makes everything totally flat, orthographic view, or it gives it a perspective again. So, anyways, I am going to use the front view. I'm going to press F to find them again. So there's nothing inside of him, so you can't see anything. So I'm going to right-click the player in the hierarchy and create a 3D object, a sphere. Now there's a sphere inside of him and in the game view what the camera sees you can see there's a sphere there. A sphere there. And if, you, if it's not there you can move him until, he, until it shows up on there. Um, and if you select the main camera you can see it's what it's looking at. Get him inside of that cone and he'll show up. So inside of the player, I'm going to name the sphere uh, Belly. I should zoom in on this. Name the player, that sphere is named Belly. And then I'm going to duplicate it by right clicking on it. Or if it's selected, you can press Command D on a Mac and it duplicates it. And then I'm going to rename that to Head. And then I'm going to move the head up a bit. And then in the inspector window, so while the head is selected, the inspector window is all the properties of the head. So whatever is selected, 
the inspector window is the properties of that thing. So I'm going to zoom in right here. So in the transform panel here, I'm going to change the scale of the sphere to 0.4 in the x, y, and z. And, uh, now his head is smaller. I'm going to press F to zoom in on him a bit. I'm going to duplicate the head and rename that to <clears throat> I, I L for I left. And I'm going to change the view to the side. I'm going to go around to this side so that the camera is over here. So I'm going to have his eye on the side that's closer to the camera. I'm going to change it down to 0.2 in this x, y, and z scale. And uh, go to the front view here. Use the orthographic view to make it a little easier to position it. And then I'm going to duplicate the I and call it pupil L and make that point one. and move it forward a bit then I'm gonna put the pupil in the hierarchy I'm gonna drag the pupil inside the eye so now if I was to rotate the eye the pupil will move with it because the eye is apparent to the pupil I'm going to right click the I and duplicate it. I'm going to rename it to I right, I R, and inside that, pupil R. And then I'm going to move that over. Now, going to Now I'm going to drag both, I'm going to select both the eyes. I just held shift and clicked on them both. Or you can hold command and shift on them and click on them both. And I'm going to drag those inside the head. So it's the same thing if I was to move the head around, the eyes would move with it. If I... So that will help with animating him. So, now... Okay, so next I'm going to give him some legs. So I'm going to right-click player, 3D object, cube. We're going to make that a lot smaller. So in the X I'm going to put like 0.2. In the Z I'm going to put 0.2. And move it down. Move it to the left. So that. So I'm actually going to, because his axis is rotation for his leg, we don't really want it to rotate by the middle, right? We'd want it to ro rotate by up near the hip, right? So I'm going to create a game object. I'm going to right click the player, create empty, name this leg right I wonder if I have his eyes I left I left and right need to be switched so leg right and I'm going to put that right where I want the joint to be basically where I want his leg to bend from then I'm going to drag this cube inside of the leg and uh, now, when I rotate the leg, it's kind of more 
more ideal. Don't really need to name the cube inside of it. You could probably duplicate that and mm, keep it at 0.2x. Make the one, make the y 0.2. Make the Z point four, drag that down. There's a foot. You know, whatevs. Doesn't have to be too great. Maybe I will rotate his leg so that his default default stance. I'll rotate it in the Z a little bit to the left. Let's say minus fifteen, and then on the cube that's shaped like a foot. I'm going to rotate it the opposite direction. So, positive 15. Well, <laughs> good enough. Whatever. These are kind of big legs. <laughs> anyway, there's a leg. I'm going to duplicate this leg and name this one leg L. And inside leg, and I'm going to rotate it in the Z to the positive of 15. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to rotate that second cube to the negative 15. So there's a very basic character. <laughs> uh, let's let's make a big cube for the ground. So outside of the player, and I'm just going to right click out here and create a. 3D object cube, set that to, set its x, y, and z positions to zero, just to get it centered. Um, I'm going to drag the player up above it, put him up above it in the air a little bit. And the cube, I'm going to name this ground, I am going to scale the x to like 100 and the Z to 100. Here's our here's our dude. So that's enough for this first part. So file save scene and that's it for part one.